making a player for endless runner game or any game you want but we'll be using this in uh, endless runner so yeah uh, we're gonna need blender if you don't have blender I include the link in the description uh, down below uh, and when you op uh, start up blender you're gonna get a file like this uh, we are just going to be starting out of our starting file if you don't have a starting file just go to file click new file and reload start the file so now we have this cube and we want to drag it up to get start starting position we want to use the scaling tool over here to scale it on the z axis a bit and like this yeah. uh, we're going to be creating a simple character like in minecraft or some game so if you and will be probably smoothing it then so it will look a bit better and drag it so this will be our body now go to object mode by clicking on this object uh, toggle uh, window here and choose the edit mode uh, still drag this a bit up and now we want this to uh, subdivide a few times subdivide once and number of cuts we can change to like yeah that that's good to two cuts we'll be changing that to two cuts and now we want to go to our neck we want to go to face select tool over here we want to right click it uh, our first face over here and then hold shift to select multiple face of faces click e to extrude drag it a bit up and then we want to scale it by our scaling tool and we want to scale the whole thing here Um, okay so yeah that will be our neck and then we will extrude it again and create a, like a head here so E to extrude and then drag it a bit up E to extrude it again and then E to extrude and scale tool to make like a head uh, head uh, head like object so we want to use this uh, add select tool over here now and select these edges uh, on our shoulders so we get we drag it a bit down to get like um, make it make it look a bit more like shoulders okay well, it looks pretty good now I'll we'll use our loop cut and slide tool to cut here for arms and just select where you want to cut press the left mouse button and select where you want to cut and now again choose your face select tool over here choose the faces on the left side for your arm and on the right side for your arm and now click extrude to E to extrude and S to scale no, we want to scale it only on the Z X axis so we'll just click the scaling tool over there ok drag it a bit down we'll be uh, we are making it in making the character in T pose because we'll be probably making a ragdoll in the following tutorials and now we want to go to lower body and we want to select the faces for our legs so select the faces E to extrude and we have like a character here now we want to make him a fit too yeah if you don't want that just you don't need to make it you want to look at and slide and select the first foot over here and then look at the slide again to make another foot here. And just drag it a bit up. Now go to face select tool again, select those two faces for our feet, click extrude, and then go to edge select tool, select those two edges to make it look like a fit. Okay. Maybe a face select tool again, and then 
edge bias on make it look more like fit maybe drag this bit down shift to select multiple faces again and go to object mode to see in what he looks like maybe another thing over here Uh, shift to select multiple edges and then a bit up to make him look more natural okay now want to add a modifier to make it make him smoother go to add a modifier over here on that wrench icon add a modifier and subdivision surface so now I have a pretty decent character over here he looks way better than this those cube man that was before and we want to change the view to I guess to make him a bit smoother if you want him um, even more smoother just change the view to 3 or smooth him like this I'll be leaving him on flat so now we want uh, to make a texture for him so uh, Blender doesn't really have a nice texturing tool so we want to uh, we'll be texturing in uh, GIMP and we want to uh, to do that just first we want to split our screen go to uh, here on this uh, where our keyframe uh, window is and uh, our scene so press the right key button and split the area now select where the splitted area is and uh, go to uh, this window here and change it to UV image now we want to uh, say what color which part of the body will be so uh, for this I'll first look at the slides so our vest uh, our from our belt uh, down it will be one color and from here up it will be a different color so I uh, want to click B to first one uh, choose this transparency um, button here to uh, see through faces and select faces through so we don't have to go around our object now click B to select multiple faces and now you have your uh, just select the face select tool so this will be much easier ok now you have your uh, legs selected and we want that to be one color so I wanna hit U to one unwrap and that will show up so I wanna hit S to scale it won't be that large cause otherwise all the parts won't fit to that square I wanna select that uh, over here if you don't see it let me just drag it to uh, move it a bit down it won't be on our way and now I want to select uh, from here up S to select uh, no <laughs> S to scale uh, oh first I'll make the hands different colors so I want to look at and slide it Oh no, we'll be just making this one color and the head then other color. So just click B and select up to your neck. Uh, so make sure that everything's selected properly. If it's not, then just go off this uh, toggle off of this button here and select every face by its own. Now we have this selected. Our, uh, it's like a shirt. <laughs> Wanna hit U to unwrap again select it by clicking right bu key button S to scale it because otherwise it's too big and just drag it again out of our way now we want to select our head for that we won't be needing this transparency tool over here uh, just select every single face to maybe just B to be a bit quicker ok ok so our head is selected and now U to unwrap and now we can select it S to scale it and drag it like up and now we want to select our whole body for that uh, toggle on our, our transparency tool over here and click B to select the whole body and just drag every single of those UVs into the square 
so you can scale that a bit if you want I'll just do that and drag every single one into the square so otherwise uh, we won't be able to paint uh, to paint those UVs and now we have uh, everything we need done in blender so I wanna go to file and first save the file I wanna save this as, as um, I'll name I'll name it runner okay so it's a runner and save a blender file wherever you wanna save it and now I want to export my UVs to a desktop to do that just uh, click B to select all of these UVs and uh, go to UVs uh, export UV layout and wanna select it to a desktop so I'll name that Okay, runner.png export UV, UV layout it will take a second or two and then we'll open up our uh, open up GIMP to make uh, other things so yeah I'll uh, stop that and uh, open up GIMP if you don't have GIMP I'll be including the link in the description and yeah it's a, a image editing tool if you don't know that so yeah and here I am back in GIMP uh, when you open GIMP this is probably what you'll get and if you don't uh, toolbox if the toolbox doesn't appear just go to Windows and new toolbox to create a new toolbox oh, okay so it's on our way <laughs> that's perfect but it uh, doesn't matter really so I just go to go to file and open a file uh, uh, wait so the documents or whatever window starts and you want to go to uh, under desktop where your UV is saved and uh, mine is named runner.png and I want to just open this one up and uh, so first uh, things first so select the fast select tool and just click on the your PNG image just on the middle uh, left click to select these faces uh, control the, uh, and I to invert and then uh, we want to select a uh, double click our paint our brush tool paint brush tool over here uh, to get this uh, window and change the size a bit uh, it will be easier to paint that way hardness we want to s uh, select the hardest one but okay what, the f what is this what is this okay it doesn't really matter what I'm doing I don't know okay I'll just paint it that way it doesn't really matter so I uh, wanna select this uh, the color for that and for the head I'll be going with a nice uh, here uh, nice uh, you can choose whatever uh, color you want with a nice skin color over here and that's our head so I wanna just paint it as you can see only the faces are painted and that's what you'll get okay so that will be the skin of our character when we we'll apply this to our character our head will look like this and this is our uh, upper part I think and that's uh, our lower part uh, I guess yeah I think it's that way so I want our lower part I want uh, my upper part to be green so I choose nice green color over here and just paint it green as you can see it goes pretty well and for the our pants I want to select this red color over here you can select whatever color you want you're going with a nice red ok so that's what you get and uh, this is probably it for today's tutorial we just want to s export this to our unity project go to export export as uh, go to desktop no the desktop I have my unity project in documents go to documents if you have it in documents and I go to my project, it's new entity project 2 so go to assets and we wanna export that, so it's runner png, that's okay 
uh, just make sure it's PNG and export and that little window will pop out so uh, you wanna just keep safe color from values from the transparent pixels, pixels uh, safe creation time we don't need that, save resolution maybe okay save bigger call no and we wanted to export this and yeah then expo export it you can quit the game then and yeah that's it for today's tutorial in the next tutorial we'll be animating and rigging our character and expo and uh, testing our skin in unity so yeah that was it for today guys uh, thank you for watching hope you enjoyed if you have any uh, questions just leave a comment or, or mail send me a mail on my gmail and hope you enjoyed leave a like and bye